If you're still using Google Maps to trace your sites, you need to watch this video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This website is an amazing alternative to Google Maps and you can fully customize and download maps in high quality. So let's jump into the website and see how it works. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. The link to this website called Snazzy Maps is provided in the description of this video. Head over to this website and it's called snazzymaps.com. This website has a great variety of maps in different styles and color combinations. Scroll down and you'll see a variety of maps. Choose explore more and this will take you to another page which has all the map styles in it. As you can see, this has an endless number of map styles to choose from and most of these styles are constantly updated. Below the maps, you will also see some colors and some tags to help you choose the map that you want. For this example, let's choose this map style. This will open the edit page and we can choose the location and also customize the map style right here. Let's search for a location and this will take us to the site. Once we are here, we can use the customize option to make changes to the map style. All the map elements are in separate layers here and we can turn them off or change colors as we want. For example, let's choose the water layer and inside this, we have the tab. And inside the geometry tab, we can change the color or stroke. Let's turn on the visibility and under these tabs, we can change the hue or custom color. We'll be able to select any color we want from this table. Scroll down and we also have more customization options like saturation or lightness. Similarly, you can make adjustments to all the other areas like roads, landscape and so on. One thing that I noticed is that some of these map styles are editable while some of them may not be. So you might have to go back and choose a map style accordingly. In case you want to reset to the default style, you can always choose the reset button. Let's go all in and probably choose a darker shade of black and see how it turns out. Once you're done with the customization, we can export this as an image. But before that, this will ask you to register an account or login. This is a very simple process. You can use your name, email ID and a password to login. And this doesn't have to be your actual email ID as well. In my case, I've already registered an account. So I'm going to log in using that. Once you do that, you'll be able to save the image. And this will open the download image tab. You have a pointer on your map and you can use that to navigate to your site. You can also adjust the dimensions on the horizontal and vertical axis. Let's adjust these dimensions to fix the boundaries of the map. And once you're happy with that, let's choose the scale factor as 3x. As you see here, you'll be able to download 10 images per day using your email ID. Click download to save the image to your computer. If you intend to use this in Photoshop, you can simply drag the image into Photoshop and this will open the file. Head over to image size and you can see that the image is in 3000 by 2100 resolution. If you're only going to use the raster image, you can use the magic wand to select the areas or simply use the color range to make selections of the areas. You can add that into a new layer and you can use the blend mode option to add colors and effects. To turn this into a vector file, let's open the image in Illustrator. Now in case you didn't know, we have a simple tool called Image Trace to convert images into a vector file. Choose the image, head over to Windows and select Image Trace. These are the settings that I usually use. The mode is in color and the palette is in full tone. I set the path to about 99 and the corners to 99 as well. The noise can be somewhere in between. Change the method to overlapping and hit preview. This will take a few seconds depending on the image complexity. Once done, head over to object, image trace and expand. Right click and choose ungroup and we'll be able to make changes to all individual areas. This offers a great level of customization and it's a really quick way to create unique map styles for your projects. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.